Hello everyone, today I'm doing a book review on Nightmare by Chad Nicholas. I was sent um, an e-copy of Nightmare by the author to do an honest review. And I would like to start this review by reading the synopsis because honestly, that's what got me hooked in to begin with. Had it come back? No, it couldn't have. He had buried it for good. Or at least that's what Scott told himself. But what if it had? Was that why the scarecrow now watched him? But the more Scott tried to ignore it, the more the evidence begins to pile up. So do the bodies. Because sometimes the dead don't stay buried. Sometimes the monster survives. As the bodies mount and the secrets of his past grow more haunting, Scott must do whatever it takes to save his family. But what if by doing so, they find out what happened all those years ago? What if they realize what he did? Scott learns that there is no escape for his own past or the crows that have crawled out of it. He can only watch as his life is turned into a living nightmare. That hooked me. I needed to read this book because of that synopsis. This book kept me on the edge of my seat. It's a five-star read for me. Now, Scott is a loving husband and father of four. He has secrets from his past that he doesn't want anybody to know about. But one day, things start to unravel, and Scott needs to confront his past. And if he doesn't do it, he's going to lose everything. Now, as I said, I was hooked from page one. I loved all the twists and turns and everything that came up in the story. All the characters were amazing. There was so much depth to all these characters. There were stories for almost all the characters. And of course, it all around, revolves around Scott. But when you think you know what's going to happen, you get another twist or another turn and you're like, wait, what? No, I thought it was going this way. Now, what am I thinking? I need to figure out what's going on. And then you get back on track and you're thinking, no, I know how this book is going to end. Well, no, another twist comes around and it's just, you just have to keep going to the very end to actually find out what happens. Because I don't think anybody could, could have predicted the outcome of this book. I was so invested in this book that it kept me going and going. I wanted to read it. I couldn't put it down. I had to because we all need to sleep and I need to get to work. And I didn't want to put it down, but I had to because life got in the way. But you think... I couldn't put it down because there's one thing you, you hear about one character and then you don't hear about it for a while. And you're like, wait, this happened. I need to know what happens there. And then all of a sudden a twist comes and you figure out a little bit more of that. And then another twist comes and you just need to put them all together and it was incredible. It was definitely a very good ride. I mean, I'm by no means read a lot of horror. I am just starting to read horror. And if this is what all horror books are like, I need more. And I need to have more of uh, Chad Nicholas's books. I think this is his debut novel and I'm sorry but I'm gonna need some more and soon because this book is definitely one that you need to stop the book that you're reading right now and you need to pick it up because it's one you're not gonna want to miss. I hope that uh, you enjoyed 
this review. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and would like to, please press that subscribe button, and I will see you again the next time.